Nice jab. First heavy kick, and another one. Woo! And you can you can hear it. Those kicks are heavy. Exactly. Even though they have on shrimp pads at the amateur level, those shrimp pads really don't do too much of anything. Oh, that inside there. One thing that would work for Eddie really well is just sending a one-two straight down the pipe. The guy is kind of coming in, his hands are a little wild, just right down the pipe, but his opponent has actually just did that. Eddie answered with his own. Yeah, it seems that Eddie is continue, continue with those kicks. As he's kicking, and sort of, you know, Ben is just wincing a little bit in the pain there, that's what will be the opportunity for Eddie to come in now with his hands. Exactly. That's exactly what I was tie the, tie the two together, especially when you see a reaction. I've heard you don't just kick him and see the reaction. You want to kick him and follow it up. Especially what we call it is leaving food on the table. Yeah, it's a lot. Why you, you open his legs up, you, you got him off balance now. Take him out of there because the – if you let your opponent kind of regain their confidence, their composure, you're giving them more chances to put you out. Exactly. Ben Iris tried to put a few punches together. None of them quite found a home. So far, both of these fighters stand up on the feet. I'm interested to see who decides to go in and initiate that first takedown, getting things on the ground. As Ben here just landing, landing some strikes here. Nice Justin attempt Mason. at a head kick right there. One in the books. Yeah, that was definitely a great round by both of these uh, fighters there. Both of them came with significant strikes. Pretty tough battle there going back and forth. If I'm in the, the corner of Ben Harris, I'm telling them, you know, connect and connect those punches into those kicks and maybe add them up into a, into a takedown. I noticed early on as Eddie Pariza, as he was feeling an onslaught of punches into Ben, he just, you know, backed straight up. Mm -hmm. So as he's backing straight up into the cage, it would behoove, you know, Ben Asher to, you know, level change because nobody has, I haven't seen, thus far really initiate a takedown. Ben should tie some of those punches together, get Eddie's back up against the cage and then go in for that takedown. Because at the end of the day, this is, you know, mixed martial arts. It's not just a, a kickboxing fight. Yeah. And what that would actually do with him doing that, he's going to throw Eddie off a little bit. He's not going to be as comfortable to throw those strikes Keep throwing exactly. those when you have yep, when you have the threat of a takedown. And it's almost like right there, he moved a little bit and Eddie was already starting to back up. That'd be the perfect time to go and shoot. But Eddie's being calm.
just like you said, a takedown or just pushing him up on the fence would have been good. Yeah, right something. There. It's it's there. I feel like Brendan Harris is is definitely the more aggressive fighter and with a little bit more control of that. Oh, we got the action right in front of us right yep, now. Now, Ed Parisi has, as Ben was able to come in, Eddie, you know, ties him up and gets him up against the cage. And he's doing good getting his head under his chin. That's that's where you want to be when you have someone on the fence. You want to kind of control them, put that head right underneath their chin, exactly. start getting those knees. And what Ben needs to do is start working to get his head underneath Eddie's chin and then start working to get his hands in, maybe get an underhook and move him off the cage. Yeah, when you get that head underneath somebody's chin, then their posture tends to, you know, elongate and stand straight up. And mm -hmm. when they're standing straight up, then that's when you drop down for your double leg takedown. But it doesn't seem like either one of these gentlemen here want to take things to the ground. They're just tying up the other individual whenever they're coming in too hard with the punches. Yeah. They're using the, the clinch and the tie rather just a defense instead of more so an offensive measure. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure what... Was Ben going for a takedown? Eddie has Straight good jiu-jitsu, so. He we'll gets see. the hooks in. He needs to, he's a little too high, so he needs to get his hips back, and then he'll be able to spread out. But he might have the choke. You never know. You yeah, can't tell from, from over here. From this thing, I can't tell. Ben has about 10 seconds if he could just hold on. This I is where Eddie should get his hips back and then start really pressing him so he can get him flattened out. There we go, just like that. Last watch out for the here. back of the head strike. Oh, wow. So an even battle, even match going back and forth, that was definitely uh, worked an advantage of Eddie Parisi there to, to finish that round there on top, especially yeah. going into this round there. I have it 1-1. One, one. I say the first round I give to Ben Harris, and the second one I give to Eddie Parisi. I agree with the scoring. And it, it'll be interesting to see how – Seems like his coach is trying to get him fired up, but ending the round like that can sometimes be a little bit of a morale breaker. You know, you're you're flattened out, your legs are up in the air, and the person just wailing on you, and then you got to go back to your corner. Exactly. So seeing how Ben reacts to that in this third round is going to be a big one. And then also, too, on the other hand, this could be a, a great level of confidence booster for Eddie Parisa. Like, if I do get decide I want to take this to the ground, I feel as though I'm the more, you know, control the more the, the expert when it comes to on the ground. Exactly. And he's been getting him, getting the best of him on the feet, and he got the best of him on the ground. So now it's got to be big. And now he's starting to let loose a little bit. Hey. Big shots just smashing through. It seems as though now Eddie is turning up a little bit more. I don't know what the corner – Julian and Mike Segrun there told him, but it seems like Eddie is definitely coming out with a little bit more aggression. It could be, like you mentioned before, a little bit of a confidence booster as he ended the fight there in a dominant position on, on Ben Azra's back. But Ben, ben is, is still, tough. he's still coming forward, though. He is not afraid. No matter how many punches Eddie Pariza throws on Ben Azra is still coming forward, which forces Eddie to now force into the top and have him up against the cage. Like the first two rounds, I don't think Eddie's necessarily trying, either one of these guys are trying for a takedown, but rather just tying up just to catch their win and get their breath. All right, here, the third round. It's anybody's fight here. Going in one to one. Looks like Eddie here is just circling around, trying to piece up his size, looking for that right moment to strike in there. But again, as Ben is coming, he's coming in with his chin a little bit too high from my liking. He's just wailing in. Yeah, he's the more aggressive and 
get an 80 to back up, but his Clean. hands are low. His hands, Ben is coming forward, his hands low and chin up high. He just ate a, ate a little kick to the head. And I think that Ben is starting to realize that Eddie isn't as comfortable with the strikes when he's coming in. He's kind of pulling his head back and his chin is right up in the air. Exactly. Where we've seen Ben get a few good shots off. But then they end up getting in the, they get tied up because they're exactly. overcrowding yeah. themselves. Which works for Eddie and it's hurting Ben with what he wants to do. Yeah, Eddie is definitely in a more dominant position even though he's not doesn't seem like he's looking for a take. Now he's definitely in a more dominant position here as he's engaging more. Oh, runs the go. pipe. And down. Nice. And successful Eddie with that secured that down. position. And he can start getting some shots off and close the round out. Yeah, less than 30 seconds here. If he stays right here, he wins this round. He wins the fight. He just has to be active in this, in this guard position. There you go. And he put his head on the fence for balance, and now he can really start unloading. Because you always want the judges to see the last thing is just like you wailing on somebody because you never know how they're judging that fight. Yeah, that first, you know, 10 to 30 seconds of the fight and the last 10 to 30 seconds of the fight definitely sticks. Sticks in the judges. Yeah, that was definitely... There's nothing for uh, Ben Asher to hold his, his head low about, but I give that fight there to Eddie Parisi there, two rounds to one with a unanimous decision victory. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to an end. Your judges have awarded your winner by way of unanimous decision out of the red corner, Eddie Perlaza.